and rejoining me now to talk about this Titan team and what the prospects are for 2010 are Mike Rogers and uh, Mike I guess all the positions are nailed down for the most part except that one cornerback spot and who's going to return kicks cornerback and kick returner Jeff Fisher on Friday told the media that he said he will find out maybe mm. today maybe tomorrow he really wasn't sure he wasn't giving any indication on who's going to grab that corner job it's down to two guys hope the rookie Alteron Werner who had a great training camp and, and looked fantastic during the preseason games and the veteran Ryan Mouton now at returner we're looking at Mark Mariani another rookie mm -hmm. another rookie and Damian Williams the rookie from USC are oh, we leaving Jason McCourty out of that group I think as of right now, it's down to just Williams okay. and Mariani. And both of those guys looked pretty good during the preseason. Yep, no question about that. Now, uh, on the other side of things on defense, young defensive line going to have to come through. Uh, Jim Washburn is going to have to work his magic, as he always does every year. But this is a, a defensive front I think is going to cause a lot of excitement this year and fool some people. I think if there's one guy who surprised everyone during these preseason games. It was Jason Jones. Mm -hmm. He looked fantastic. He looked healthy again, right. and he was just getting to the quarterback and getting a lot of pressure. And hey, this defense so far has surprised everybody. Yeah, you got the veteran uh, Tony Brown, who's been injured most of preseason, back in there right now. We'll see what he's going to be all about as he can kind of mold these guys around him. So it should be kind of exciting. Linebacker, some of a question mark, a little bit. I think the moves today uh, with what we, what we saw picking up the two guys that player Shaw from the mm -hmm. from the Bears has some experience at linebacker. Uh, they're, they're still waiting around the Gerald McGrath suspension. You know that's going to be a four game suspension. Right. He comes back in week five. I think they're in wait and see mode until McGrath comes back. But we know Tulloch and Witherspoon will have at least two out of those three positions locked down as we look uh, toward Oakland as we look to the rest of the season Oakland now certainly going to be a lot different than the preseason games have been. Uh, we haven't talked that much about Chris Johnson. We didn't see Chris Johnson that much in the preseason, and rightfully so. Why would you throw your crown jewel out there and the fact that it might get skinned up a little bit? But are you one of those guys that thinks he can even get 2,000 yards this year? I think there's an outside possibility, but I'm still waiting to see the real Chris Johnson. You know, we didn't see no, exactly. the, the CJ that everybody was raving about, you know, this past year and winning all the awards. Now, that could be a combination of a lot of different things. Maybe CJ was, you know, obviously not in position to play an entire game to really break one. And game planning had a lot to do with it, too. But I think we're waiting to see that one big pop once again from Chris Johnson and maybe maybe it'll come the, this Sunday against the Raiders. And don't worry about uh, a lack of confidence on his part. There's no question about that. He thinks he's going to uh, rush for 2,500 yards this year. I don't think he's going to do that. I'm one of those people that's not believing that he can do that. Uh, he's not going to get as many carries this year, I don't think, as he did last year. So we'll have to wait and see how it all falls out. I still think he's going to get his yards. And I, I would say if he gets 16, 1,800 yards this year, it'll be a big year for him. One player that we both have talked about a lot, you know, just uh, watching the preseason games, that was Javon Ringer. I know mm -hmm. that you've mentioned yep, that you've absolutely. been impressed by Ringer. Sure. I've been impressed by him as well. And the team cut LeGarrette Blunt today. Mm -hmm. So they obviously have confidence in going into the season with just C.J. and Javon Ringer right now. Now, if they can just get Kenny Britt's head.